hello friends let us now learn some important points just it is just a minimal outline about the digital radiography the complete uh, topic about digital radiography from distension we will learn later but this is just an idea of what digital radiography is digital radiography mainly uses imaging de devices that are present in situ that means there is no reader there is no intermediate steps are present in digital radiography actually this digital radiography will produce an image with a delay of less than 2 seconds there are two types of digital radiography one we have indirect digital radiography the other we have direct digital radiography mostly in indirect or direct digital radiography actually the digital radiography will contain amorphous silicon it contains amorphous silicon thin film transistor it contains amorphous silicon thin film transistor so what is actually happening here so this thin film transistor which is made up of amorphous silicon this will amplify or increase the electric signal so once it amplifies the electric signal it is stored has an electrical charge these charges are applied are released by applying a high voltage when you apply a high potential these charges are released so in a thin film transistor arrays there is a transistor which corresponds to pixel there is each transistor in a thin film transistor will correspond to a pixel and the rows are connected to the activating potentials the rows are connected to the activating potentials so the charges which are applied row by row and at the same time signals are also determined by pixels signal is determined by the pixels and the charges will go from row by row one after the other and the resulting voltage signal all of this is digitalized and in, in a, and after it is digitalized it is transported or transferred to the computer where the actual image is built up so the here there are some techniques one we have thin film transistor this will amplify the electrical signal and it is stored has electric charge this electric charge is released whenever we apply high potential so this electric signal mainly contains uh, the image okay so in the transistor each transistor will there, there will be these thin film transistor arrays will be there that means many thin film transistor arrays will be there each transistor will correspond to one pixel pixel of the image whereas the potential each row will have one potential so each row is connected to activating potential and column is connected to charge measuring device column to charge measuring device and row to the activating potential so when the when all of this is fed into a computer the computer itself will give the actual image so this thin film transistor size is around 100 to 200 micrometers x ray or light detectors are mainly deposited above the charge collecting device on the plate so we will see each of this mechanism again once we start with indirect conversion detectors or tft detectors or direct digital radiography so first we will learn about indirect digital radiography so in indirect conversion detectors or indirect digital radiography this is actually the tft that is that is a um, thin film transistor system it is actually the thin film transistor system this is also called has charge coupled device it is called has charge coupled device okay here in thin film transistor system this thin film transistor system consists of three layers so the first layer is a scintillation layer this is the first layer second layer is a photodiode the third layer is thin flat panel transistor so we will see each of them in detail first the scintillation layer scintillation layer will mainly converts the x ray photons to light scintillation layer will convert the x ray photon to light so for conversion of x ray photon to light this scintillator layer will have cesium iodide 
So cesium iodide is mainly preferred because it is formed in rods or it can also have godolinium oxysulfide. It can have cesium iodide or, godo or godolinium oxysulfide is present. So whenever the, there is more light spread, so thinner layer is used with reduced detection efficiencies. So this scintillation layer is cheaper. This phosphor is cheaper to produce and it is also present robustly. So it is more suitable for portable radiography also. Okay, this uh, scintillation layer is laid down has a crystalline structure. Just above the photo diode, it is kept, it is placed as a crystalline structure and it is also placed perpendicular to the detector also. These scintillation contains elongated crystals of very small size and these, the size of these elongated crystals is smaller than the pixel size also. The light produced by this crystal is reflected and it is directed towards the photodiode. So from the, the light which is produced from this crystal, it is reflected and directed to the photodiode. The thick layer of scintillator is used to increase the detector efficiency. So the X-ray photons here, the X-ray photons will absorb and they release almost 3000 light photons. And these light photons are mostly present in green part of spectrum. So main disadvantage of this scintillation is that it produces light in all the directions. It can produce in all directions. So the next important thing is photodiode. This photodiode will detect this light and convert this light into electrical charge. Okay, this photodiode is mainly made up of silicon. That is, it is made up of amorphous silicon. The next, so this electric charge is produced by the photodiode. The next important thing is thin flat panel transistor. This thin flat panel transistor will detect this electric charge and this is formed. This thin flat film transistor is actually made up of very small detector elements. So it is made up of very small detector elements like this. this is each one here is a detector element that is DEL that is very small detector elements. These are detector elements. Each detector element will consist of a pixel detector. It consists of a pixel detector and it also consists of a storage capacitor. Okay, what happens is the pixel detector will capture the image. Whereas storage capacitor will store the electric charge. Electric charge which is released from the photodiode is stored in the storage capacitor and there is also a switch is also present which will release the electric charge producing the digital image. So these are the three important parts of the thin film trans thin, thin film transistor that is actually indirect trans in indirect uh, in di indirect DR. Now the next important thing is about the fill factor of DR. What is called as fill factor of detector in DR? Fill factor of detector is the percentage of sensitive area. So before that, see this uh, uh, pixel will give rise to image. So from the fixed pixel, when when all this information is given to the computer, then you will get the actual digital radiographic image. Then there is fill factor of this detector. Fill factor of this detector is the percentage of sensitivity area of pixel to the overall area of pixel. Sensitivity area of pixel to the overall area of pixel is called as fill area, fill factor of detector. When there is higher or increased fill factor, there is increased efficiency of signal, signal recording and there is increased spatial resolution. If there is increased fill factor, there is increased in intensity of signal recording and there is increased spatial re resolution. If the fill factor decreases, pixel sampling interval will also decrease. Whenever the pixel size decreases, 
when the pixel size decreases that is smaller and smaller then the resolution will increase that is also important then one more important detector is actually a charge coupled det det detector this is charge coupled device detector so this charge coupled device detector which is called has ccd detector it has no photo no cathode no photo cathode is present there is no tft layer also is not present but what is present directly the scintillation layer is coupled to a ccd sensor chip this ccd sen sen sensor chip has the light sensitive detectors and these light sensitive detectors could be either lens or it could be fiber optics so in this ccd detectors the light photons see the scintillation will convert the x ray photons into light photons these light photons are directly light photons so these light photons are directly enters this charge coupled device and these light photons are converted into electrical signal okay this electrical signal will is sent to the computer for processing so this helps in deeper detection than flat plate detectors this charge coupled device is used mainly for mammography okay so this is about the indirect conversion detectors the next important thing that we have to see is the direct conversion detectors this is direct conversion detectors in direct conversion detectors there is no tft set of tft we have amorphous selenium detectors the amorphous selenium detectors are the direct conversion detectors this amorphous selenium based detectors it is a semiconductor so here if you see here you have the semiconductor and this is the amorphous selenium semiconductor so whenever the x ray is passed through this surface electrode or positive charge these x rays x ray photons are mainly absorbed by this selenium photoconductor okay first x ray photons are absorbed by this selenium photoconductor this this selenium photoconductor will now produce electric charges that is positive and negative charges are produced okay now the electric charges positive and negative are produced this is a surface electrode this surface electrode is positively charged so all the negative electrons will will attract towards the surface uh, electrode that is photo electrode whereas the positive charges are attracted towards the storage capacitor okay positive charges are attracted towards the drawn into the storage capacitor and in the storage capacitor latent image is formed so this latent image is read out by getting here this latent image is read out by these tft switches one after the other the tft switches will read the latent image present in the is formed in the electronic formed here and the resulting voltage which is generated is voltage signal is generated and this voltage signal is transferred to the computer and finally the image dr image is built up so this is about the direct conversion detector or amorphous selenium detector the next important thing is there are this, these are the things that actually happen okay then there are some post processing things that we should also keep in mind in digital uh, radiography post processing is one there can be artifacts can be seen artifacts is irregular sh shading across the film across the film there can be irregular sh shadings can be seen that is non uniform 
a colors or non uniform texture is seen around uh, in the film so that is one artifact second there can be either dark spots or dark lines may be seen in the image dark lines or spots may be seen in the image also so these are the artifacts these are because of individual load rows or columns of the pixels which are defective in pft array which we have seen there may be some pixels which are defective and these defective pixels may result in spots or dark spots or dark lines in the image so how are you going to correct it the correction is first whenever there is problem in the pixels or tft array you can do pixel calibration that is in pixel calibration the defects present in the pixel array are mainly corrected by interpolating the data values from the neighboring pixels you have two pixels adjacent so by in, by interpolating the value data values from these pixels this mixed pixel is may, being made okay the second type is gain calibration in gain calibration whenever there is irregular shading across the films we can also use the in gain calibration we can use previously acquired films and we can this previously acquired films will have image this previously acquired films will have image which is a good image right this previously acquired film is actually a good image so we can use this good image and compare the image which we got now and based on this the uh, masking which was found which was there that can be removed then the second is auto ranging in auto ranging is one of the post processing step where if this is the if image which we should get first we should identify the image and for each pixel we should we should find with the for each pixel the data representing the each pixel is generated in histograms based on the amount of signals which we got and these pixograms will now be converted into the actual x-ray which you see these histograms of each pixel are post processed and they will they are converted into the actual x rays then the next important post processing step is digital image enhancement in digital image enhancement if particular part of the image is not proper okay then based on the other you know adjacent pixels we can modify this pixel and we can adjust the brightness and also the contrast of the image by uh, changing the by changing or remapping the grayscale values so then what are the artifacts which are seen in digital radiography artifacts which are seen in digital radiography are one there can be ghost image this ghost image is actually the image from the previous one previous exposure that has been carried out or carried over in the present exposure second there can be excessive or increased or decreased image density can be there third there can be increased digital enhancement whenever there is increased digital enhancement this can result in ringing artifacts or ringing effects so these are the main problems in using the digital radiography and also it is more costly digital radiography is more costly when compared to the others these are just this is just an idea or outline of what digital radiography is in our future classes we will learn about digital radiography in a better way thank you